Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome to my channel. In today's story, OP reaches out to Reddit because her sister is being a horrible bridezilla and in her desire to achieve a certain vision, she really hurts OP's daughter. Now, that seems really bad but unfortunately in the update there's a major twist and things get much worse. Luckily, OP and her family are very strong so they do come out better in the end. Stay tuned for the update to find out. I do hope that you enjoyed the story. If you do, please leave a thumbs up. And before I move on to the story, I just wanted to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys are so wonderful. For those of you that don't know, I have a personal goal of reaching 1000 subscribers. So if you like my content and would like to support me, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and on to the story. Am I the a-hole for refusing to speak to my sister because she wouldn't let my daughter be a flower girl at her wedding as planned, causing multiple family members to boycott it too? So I, a 28-year-old female, have a sister who's a 26-year-old female who got married last month. I'm going to be blunt, my sister has always been one of those people that has to have everything perfect, to the point that sometimes it was hard to be around her. But she was my little sister and I have no other siblings, so I always made excuses when she'd hurt me when I wasn't doing things right in her eyes. I was kind of nervous when she asked me and my daughter, who's a 4 year old, to be a bridesmaid in February because I knew that she was going to be a massive bridezilla. Over the last few months, we've had to practice multiple dances, pay for very expensive dresses and put up with her tantrums. I told her from the start that if she was in any way nasty to my child, I wouldn't stand for it. She assured me that she'd never be nasty towards her quote unquote favorite person in the whole world. Well, now her husband's little cousin, who's eight, started coming to dance practice with her mom and my sister started to ask her to do little things like show my daughter how to throw the petals. I honestly thought that she'd make them both flower girls for a while, but when she started to make my daughter sit out and have the little girl do her poem, I knew what was going to happen, but I honestly prayed that I was wrong. I invited her out to coffee a few weeks before the wedding and asked her what was going on. She told me that she was glad that I brought it up because she was looking for the right time. Apparently, my 4 year old wasn't doing everything right and she was afraid that she was going to mess up her version by saying the wrong thing or not doing the dance right on that day. I told her that she was doing a pretty good job and everyone was always praising her. My sister giggled and said that it's not their day now is it? So it's not up to us what's good enough for her wedding. I asked her straight up if she thought her niece wasn't good enough to be in her wedding. She replied with, not as something as big as a flower girl, but to attend. I asked her how I was going to break it to my daughter who's excited about being in the wedding. She just told me to figure it out. I've told her that I'd give her a day to rethink the decision. If not, we wouldn't be attending and speaking to her ever again before I left. Two days have passed. I couldn't put it off any longer. So I broke the news to my child. Even though I tried my hardest and sugarcoated it as much as possible, the news still broke her heart. She cried herself to sleep. So did I and my husband. Well, after a week when I was a no-show for anything, my sister started to panic and started to get everyone to talk to me, even dropped off gifts for my daughter. When I told them why, a good number of our family, including the bridesmaids, dropped out. We ended up going for a few weeks away with no phones. When we came back, my sister had sent me multiple letters and emails apologizing. Her in-laws and husbands have called me an a-hole for doing what I did. So my brother-in-law saw this post and told my sister, who cried reading all of your comments. How do I know? Because they showed up at my job knowing I wouldn't want a scene. They begged me to delete the post before people they know see it and kept apologizing. Finally, my sister said that she might be pregnant. I told her that even if she is, pregnancy doesn't wash away all of the horrible things that she's done 
and I hope that her husband's siblings never treat her child the way that she treated mine because I don't want to be a part of her life. She burst into tears, saying that she was sorry and that she loves my daughter. I told her to leave before I called security and her husband tried to talk to me alone because I was quote unquote making her so upset and everyone was cold towards them because of me. I told them no, everyone was cold because Cinderella and Prince Charming forgot that after treating everyone horribly that no one wanted to be in there happily ever after. They didn't like my mocking tone and raised their voice at me. My boss, who knows about the situation and has a five-year-old herself, told them to leave, so she's on my side. My sister's mother-in-law reached out to my parents asking for everyone to meet up on neutral terms so that we can all work out our differences. I'm going to go to this dinner party because I want to hear their story and officially tell them to leave me alone. I'll keep you guys updated. So, my sister's photographer saw this post and reached out to me on here. She knew my full name and she gave me her Instagram account to confirm. This goes much deeper than my daughter not dancing right. Apparently, she overheard my sister's mother-in-law and aunt-in-law talking in the bathroom. They used horrible slurs against my daughter and husband. They also called me horrible names. The photographer said that they were both drunk, but my brother-in-law also made jokes around my sister earlier in the day, which she smiled at. She also thinks that my family members heard it and it's the reason they dropped out. So yeah, my daughter wasn't a flower girl because unlike me, her aunt or other flower girls, she doesn't have blue eyes and blonde hair. If you're reading this, Sarah and Frank, F you and your family. My child is too good to be around trash like you. Stay the F away from us and if anyone in my family knew the real story and didn't tell me, F you too. OP then added, thank you everyone for the love and support, but especially thank you to the photographer who came forward. Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention before I let them back into our lives. You're the real one. They then also added, So, I thought that I'd answer a lot of questions that kept getting asked because I'm tired and will be going to bed soon. 1. My parents are fully on my side. So are multiple other family members that haven't been cut off. 2. My daughter doesn't know the full story, but as a treat for all of us, we plan on taking her to Disneyland for Christmas and my parents have said that they will join us. 3. As for my sister, some people have mentioned that she might be in a horrible relationship with her partner. Well, her husband is from old money and his family is very well connected in England, which is something that she always wanted, so I don't know. But if she is in a bad relationship and afraid, it's up to my husband to forgive her, not me. They then also added, I found out Three family members knew, including a bridesmaid that dropped out, knew. And, I've seen a lot of people making fun of the fact that my husband and I cried ourselves to sleep the night my daughter found out. We didn't cry about her not being a flower girl, nor did we cry while she was awake. We cried because our child was extremely hurt, and there's no feeling worse than your child thinking that they're not good enough for somebody they love. For the commenters who said extremely horrible things about my husband crying, a father's love is equal to a mother's. Men do and are allowed to have emotions. Do better. So guys, what did you think about this? Honestly, I think that OP's sister and brother-in-law are some of the scummiest people on this earth. Like, how can you be so horrific? How can you want to hurt a pure child? I don't understand and it makes me so angry. But also, props to the photographer for coming forward because supposedly there were people in her life who knew about this and didn't come forward. Like, I understand the desire to not start family drama or something, but you have to set lines. Lines that are rooted in your values. Oh my god. But also, I'm so glad that it ended on a hopeful note. I really hope that they had the best of times during Christmas in Disneyland. It honestly sounds magical. And I'm so glad that the majority of the people realized that OP's sister was a horrific person. Honestly, I cannot stand entitled people like that. It just makes me so effing angry. Anyways guys, what did you guys think? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you did like it, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like. And please subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories from Reddit with updates.